Hi, I'm Erin. Here in Wyoming, it is nowhere near time to plant the gardens. But the work that we do today and the decisions that are made will have a huge impact on the success or the failures of this summer's crops. It's time to order seeds and plan the garden layout for 2018 on Our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Hi, and thanks for joining me today. It is still ridiculously cold outside. And as of today, we are still 77 days away from putting crops into the ground outside. 77 days if the weather cooperates for us. Now though is the time to make extremely important decisions about what crops we will grow and what varieties will be planted. It's a world of possibilities as far as seeds go. There's so many to choose from and it's overwhelming. We have tried and true favorites that work year after year. And there's some things that are, we are still searching for the perfect crop. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and come along with us as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. Before I started growing for market, seeds were usually purchased by the individual packet at a local retail store. There wasn't much thought put into variety or yield or crop consistency. Now though, those things are extremely important and more volume of seed is needed. Nowadays, the seed catalogs start rolling in before Christmas and lots of time and energy is put into deciding what worked last year and what needs improvement. We also have to consider how much seed we will need of each crop. And this year we are approaching the layout of the garden in a whole different manner. Instead of planting individual rows of crops, we will plant in beds. As the crop grows, the leaves will help shade the soil. And since the rows are planted closer together, there will be less exposed soil for the weeds to grow. This does mean though that seed quantities will need to be reconfigured this year for the new planting style. Let's run some numbers. Beets are a great crop to plant in this configuration, as are most root crops. The length of the garden is 132 feet. All crops will run north to south with the exception of the corn, which will run east to west and will be planted on the south end of the garden. The north end of the garden will be a three foot walkway. There will also be a two foot walkway in the center and a two foot walkway at the end of the row crops, leaving space between the beds and the corn. It's vital to think about how you will get in and out of the garden, especially when harvest time comes and totes of veggies are being hauled out. All of the beds will be 30 inches wide and with 15 inch walkways in between them. Three rows of beets can be planted in the 30 inch bed. This gives plenty of spacing between the rows and allows the crop room to grow, but as the tops mature, they will get large enough to almost touch each other. Beets are one of our best sellers at market. People love to eat them fresh and many purchases are made each summer of bulk beets for canning. We will run the beets on both sides of the center walkway. 109 linear feet of beets times three rows of beets means that we need enough seed to plant 327 feet of beets. Now this is where seed packets or descriptions on websites comes in handy. We are ordering the perfected Detroit beet. On the seed count description, it says that one ounce of beet seed will plant 100 feet. We need 327 feet, but it's always nice to have a little bit extra, so four ounces or a quarter of a pound of seed will be ordered from Gurney's. The same method will be used for carrots and kohlrabi. They are huge sellers for us at market, but when it comes to crops like purple carrots, they're not as popular. They're catching on, and some people love the purple color, but many visitors to market, well, they've never seen a purple carrot and are a little hesitant to eat one. We don't need to plant as long of a bed. So for purple carrots, they will be planted on the 47 foot bed length side of the garden, still in a 30 inch bed and three rows per bed. Just the length is changing. So for purple carrots, we need 141 feet. Using a seed quantity calculator from Johnny Seeds, it says that I need 4,230 seeds. With extra, I want 5,000 seeds. Carrot seeds are ordered from Territorial Seed Company. They are ordered by the thousand, so 5M of seeds are added to the cart. 
Every seed company that you order from has a different way of telling you how many seeds you need to order. You will see quantities measured in ounces or grams, thousands, or just the number of seeds per packet. The seed quantity calculator from Johnny's is a super useful tool to help ensure that we have enough seed when it comes time to plant. All of the order forms from last year are printed out and it's just a matter of going through everything and deciding what worked and what didn't work and what needs to be changed and why. Last year we ran out of golden beets, so more will be planted this year, but green beans were an epic failure for the last three years and it's time to throw in the towel and say no more. A few new crops will be added this year, like a red and white striped beet from Johnny's. Also new to the high tunnel will be different colors of cherry tomatoes from Totally Tomatoes. We are ordering artisan bumblebee cherry tomatoes in pink, purple, and sunrise orange. They will be mixed with a red Sakura cherry and a sun gold yellow cherry, and they're gonna be sold together as a cherry tomato mix. They will be bright and colorful and snackable, and hopefully they'll keep people coming back week after week. Kids should also be drawn to the colors and the small size is easy for them to eat. Hopefully, the cherry tomato blend will be a parent approved snack that kids love. For the first time ever, we are also be growing flowers in the garden. Zinnias and sunflowers will be planted for pollinators. Plus, they will look beautiful during our farm to table dinner. Nasturium is also on the list to be ordered. It's an edible flower that will be used during our farm to table dinner. How cool will that be? Fresh local produce and edible flowers. Every year it's a guessing game of what will work and what won't. When we switch to a new crop or variety, we usually give it at least two years before we make a final decision on it. Sometimes things like purple carrots, they just take a little bit of time to catch on, but as long as they're growing well, we can be patient with building the customer base. One thing that we commonly look for when choosing new varieties is if it's recommended for market gardeners. The description on the bumblebee tomato says market growers will love the new colors. This is exactly the type of info that we're looking for. Market growers like myself are always trying new things and pushing the limits of our crops. We need them to produce high quantities, look amazing, and taste great too. When looking through all the different types of lettuce, we want something that has a long harvest window and handles heat well, so it can be pushed later into the season. These same standards can be used in a home garden. You might only plant two cherry tomato plants, but you want them to produce consistently and have it be worth your time and your energy. You can also plant in your home garden the same way our market garden is gonna be planted. Planting in beds instead of rows can make your life a lot easier when it comes time to weed and to harvest. Just scale things back. You can easily make your beds 10 or 15 feet long instead of 109 feet. If we don't take this time to do the prep work, there's no way that we will have a successful harvest this summer to sell to our customers at market. It's a lot of work and a lot of thought goes into each crop that we order. If things are miscalculated now, it's pretty much guaranteed that we can't just run down to the local store and find exactly the same crop that we wanted. A substitute could most likely be found, but it might not work out to its fullest potential. Over the years, we have found that not one seed company can supply everything that we need. Typically, we order from five or six different companies. This year, we have ordered from Territorial, Johnny's, Gurney's, Dixondale Farms, Knee Seed, and Totally Tomatoes. With the seed orders complete and a plan for the garden laid out, we know that soon the snow will melt and it'll be time to get to work. Tomatoes will be started in the basement soon and the new high tunnel is going to be delivered to the ranch in about two weeks. As soon as this cold weather breaks, construction will begin. The new high tunnel will become home to our summer crops, tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers. There's lots of work to be done and our target planting date for the high tunnel is May 15th. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss an episode. Cabin season starts in just a few short weeks and with all the garden work and the construction that needs to be done, things are about to get insanely busy on the ranch. Mike and I love this time of year and can't wait for the chaos to begin. So make sure you're along for the ride and explore the ranch life with us and escape the ordinary on our Wyoming life.